you. The Animus hasn't finished interpreting Aya's DNA yet. Fine. Fine. What is it? The snake. What if he was not the last? Of course he was the last. They are all dead. Justice is done. <sighs> if there's any question, Apollodorus will know. He knows all. And where will I find this man who knows so much? He is with Cleopatra. But find his man first near the Hippodrome. Hey! <laughs> I'll tell Thanos that Gennadios is dead and meet you later. Enjoy the Hippodrome. Don't lose all your money at the races. I am Baek. Aya sent me to speak to Apollodorus. Shh. I'm sure you can appreciate that my master takes precautions concerning those he meets. I have a question only he can answer. I will tell him you seek his counsel and that Aya recommends you. Wait for tonight. If he sees fit to meet you, you'll be found near the lighthouse then. Until then, the Hippodrome's commemorating one of its greatest racers. Plenty of drinking and festivities, along with the races themselves, of course, if that appeals. His name was Icarus, the glory of the raucous Hippodrome, the much loaded and short life beloved of Canopus. Jealous fate! Apollodorus. You there! Are you here to kill me or to be my friend? Friend. Bike of Siwa. Ah, then your help, please. You are I as Magi, huh? Any other survivors? Only Damastis. They took him prisoner. And the scroll? What of the scroll? Damastis had it. That ass Damastis should have destroyed it. Cleopatra owes you much. Can you get to a healer by yourself? I've killed you, Doros. Huh? Well done. He was the snake, yes? Man to man, Bayek, there is much you have yet to understand. <laughs> man to man, I need an answer. Well, I must take the measure of you first. Rescue Domastis and recover the scroll. And then I will know if you're the man that Aya claims you to be. Where is this Damastis? I have to sleep in my own filth in here. Thank you. It was bad. Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. <laughs> I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of, is all. Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. 
Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. That precious scroll. Neck. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general Pompey in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philakatai of Alexandria. Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Felakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up ahead. You will learn more at the villa. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek, before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Ready? I cannot wait. <laughs> Catch you. me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes! She I'm caught me with you. her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't hold the ground. Please! Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto Ek My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I have already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! <laughs> you were meant to kneel. Ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudorus. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. 
And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet. We have informants in each region. But they have been unable to touch the Order. <clears throat> Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sunshed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink. Celebrate. Make love. Tomorrow. Where is that damn girl? Master Tahaka's wife is so kind. I cannot... I seek the master brewer, Hakuf. I have no time. Speak to one of my overseers if you must. You misunderstand. I am a Magi. Apollodorus sent me. Apollodorus? He sent me for the scarab, the shadow that darkens size. Shh, please. That is an evil name to speak aloud. Apollodorus knows that people are suffering. In my position, many confide in me. Trade is strangled, the soldiers run rampant, and the weight of Ptolemy's taxation crushes the breath from us. Come with me. Let us retire where we have a roof overhead. There are many terrible stories about the Scarab. I am sure Apollodorus told you. Tales of mutilation, disappearances, and folk buried in the desert and left to die. A horrendous fate. 
Trapped in the shimmering sand, your mind and body pounded by the remorseless sun. Waiting for the final release into the Duat. But these are only stories. There are real villains in size. But the Scarab, if he exists, it is not safe to speak of him. The last man who asked questions about the Scarab was near beaten to death, with his tongue cut out. <clears throat> who was he? Old Gupa, father-in-law to the most powerful man in the region, Tahaka. That boy, Hawab, is his grandson. Hey, you tired of winning? I'm looking for your grandfather. Do you know where he went? No. He left on the road to Camp Piros. He should have been home by now. I'll see if I can find him along the road. I will get you out. I think you will survive. I know the Scarab took your tongue. But we can help each other. Akuf told me that you are investigating the Scarab. Help me, and I can ensure he dies. Banged up, bruised, and thirsty. The soldiers did not take kindly to him, but he will be all right. Where is your father, Kawap? We must speak of this. Father is away, on his great walk. Mother! Grandfather is hurt. Soldiers mistook him for a beggar again. Father! What have you done this time? He was searching for this scarab. I hope he can help me. And in return... I can protect your family. The Scarab is nonsense. Everyone knows this. He wants you to read them. Uh, it looks like the Scarab is summoning warriors to the city of Letopolis. By the gods! That is where my husband is. Or well, the city swallowed by the desert. It is father's destiny to rebuild it. We're going to join him soon. Right, mother? Yes. My husband, Tahaka, has been slaving there for months. I'm sure he can help you. He knows everyone there. If you go, tell him I can't wait to see him. <laughs> yeah, of course I will go up. Master Tahaka, my name is Bayek from Siwa. I am indeed Tahaka, Grand Planner of Sais and Steward of Latopolis. I met your family. Your wife sent me here. She said you might know about the one called the Scarab. This is not the place to speak, for who knows who may overhear our words. Come inside and I will answer you. 
Your son is very proud of your work. He misses you. You'll be here soon. I dream of my son and his sons following in my steps. The world is made by great men dreaming big. What do you dream of, Bayek? I do not have the luxury of dreams. Just finding the scarab. The scarab preys upon the weak. He is no threat to me. Are you not afraid of the Scarab, Tahaka? It seems after what he did to your father-in-law... What happens to poor Gupa tears me. Whatever my life's work, whatsoever I did to bring that down upon him, I beg the gods forgive Master me. Master Tahaka! They're attacking the ruins again! Bayek, come fight with me! The wind rises, and the sand with it. That keening is the voice of the Resetium. The desert dogs use the storm as a rallying cry. These reavers use the sandstorm to mask their rays. Stay close to me! Do not let these curse surround you! I will not let you destroy my great work! Over here! Drive of neck and neck at battle! They pour out of the storm! These three for the fire of me! Target is in land! the greatest of Egypt! And now! Come, Metai! Fight with me! Quick! Hunt them down! Use pepper, man! Uh, uh. 
Bayek, you fell upon them like Sobex did! Bayek, ride with us! These desert dogs have crossed me for the last time. And with your fierce iron, I know we can end their threat. I understand your thirst for blood, Tahaka. But these bandits are not my concern. Tell me about this scarab before you ride. Is that not the badge of a Medjai that you wear? These reavers are a threat to the good and innocent people of Latopolis. Come with me, Pike. And once we have returned these curs to the desert they so love, then I will tell you the story you want to hear. All right. I will join your cause for today. Come, Bayek. Take up your iron and join us. Brave, loyal servants of Latopolis! We will root these rivers out of their holes and spill their blood on the sand. This task you have put yourself to, Whoa. it seems impossible. Yeah. <laughs> Only the gods can know that for sure, Bayek. And if I do not reach for the stars, how will I know how close I can get? Metropolis was a wonder once, before the desert overtook it. I mean to show the world, to show the gods, that men can conquer anything if they put their minds to it. Perhaps you have been sent by the gods to help me realize my vision. A strong arm. Keen eye. We can restore this land to glory. I have my own great work ahead of me. We shall see if I cannot convince you. Clear the way. Better not break anything. My thanks to you, Bayek. Before you arrived, I thought my dream was doomed to die. You gave me the strength to hunt down these reavers. Who are they? Blood-fevered followers of Sekhmet, the Lady of Slaughter. They wish nothing more than chaos and ruin. Are they connected to the Scarab? <laughs> no. They think themselves lions, but they are no more than carrion eaters. And now they will feed the scavengers. I will bring this priest back to the city. Meet me at my house. We will dine, and I will tell you what you need to know. May Ptah bless you and the protector saving me, Master Tahaka. How did you end up here? I was kidnapped by these blood-crazed raiders. I thought the road from Memphis to Litopolis was safe. It is now, and I will ensure it stays so. You stay safe from Memphis. Bayek, did you see the sandstorm? I'm glad you made it safely, Maharet. 
<laughs> yes, the gods blessed our passage. We saw vultures and a hyena and so much sand. <laughs> Enough sand to fill a lifetime. That is why we need so many to help us with our great work. And what do you promise them, Tahaka? A parcel of land with a house to call their own. They must only help reclaim it from the desert. That is all? Just dig up your house? It is no simple task. We must all pitch in to honor the gods. People know his vision is a true one. It is good to honor your father, Kawa. The savior of Latopolis. Mm. Let us have some honey dates now. And... Are you all right, Bayer? Are you all right, Bayer? me. Soon I will walk the outer darkness with the Hidden One, leading me into the field of Ritz. Smile upon you. Stripped of armor, weapons, and coin. Where to begin? Now, to hurry before the wind erases the tracks. Whoa. First my steel, then the scarab. Now this area is off limits. You pack up the gear. Yes, remarkable armaments. It's packed up in a crate as payment is available. Good. We send it to Fort Nikio in a few days. What do you think you are doing? How long do you think it will take for him to die? To die, we bury him. Two days? <laughs> he looks tough. I bet five hey. drachma he would survive for at least three. You know, wait. Who's going They should have stayed in the shadows. Hey, 
Hold on. An attack on sight here. My name might remain enduring in this temple. This is how a dream dies. I could have built something to last an age. And Gupa could have sung stories of your accomplishments. There are things I regret. We all labor for higher powers. We are all enthralled to greater forces. There is no escape. <laughs> I am but one in the order of ancients. will bring you no peace! It is not peace that I seek. It is not for my soul that I walk this path. The Order of Ancients will remember me as the bringer of waters and a builder of cities! Oh, the desert will blow in and scatter the dream of Metropolis like dust. Take care of him. Try to make him understand if you can. You have brought blood and death to my house. You are blind. But now you must open your eyes. Your husband was a scarab. He did this. Your father was tortured and scarred by this man. As were so many others. No. It is up to you to raise your boy into the light out of the blood and shadows of his father's legacy. I'm sorry, my son. Good news, Leila. IS DNA has finished sequencing. You can sync with their memories now. They're pretty fragmented, but you should be able to dip in for a little while. I walk on your ward. Okay. Weird. Just like the Battle of Salamis, Captain. I have you trapped. 
<laughs> Here comes Themistocles. And that is the game. Oh! Ramodo! <laughs> 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 huh? Foxy, that's why are we delivering all this treasure? We could retire to Lesbos with this amount of gold. <laughs> what say you, desert rat? If that chest doesn't make it to Pompeii, this ship won't either. We crawl through Hades to deliver it if we have to. Not enough. Back to work, you slack black horse! Themestis! My trusted shield boy, get to it! Huh? We've been hired to bribe Pompey, to save a queen, and to win a kingdom. <laughs> the usual fare for us mercenaries, huh? Now, rocks and rubble ahead. I'm not blind. I see the scaries. Your third voyage, and already you bark like a command crew. <laughs> I enjoy watching Spittle get caught in your beard, Foxy Das. Let's not be thrown into the sea. That's no death for such a hero as me. A real hero could swim to save himself. I see them, and not be sucked to a scupper for nothing. Now you're just trying to impress me. The horizon, there! Those colors are not from Rome. What the mess has this boxy queen tried to send? Ptolemy's ships, sent by the order of ancients, no doubt. What business do they have with Pompey? Pompey's armies will give Cleopatra the throne. They mean to prevent the alliance before it happens. We must hurry. Poseidon's peace. The air is already choked with smoke. The seas will steam near the volcano. We should keep our distance if we don't want to burn. Is that Methana? She hasn't burst for hundreds of years. Wouldn't surprise me if she burst now. Ready ourselves! Let's show these traitors they chose the wrong pharaoh! Sign of your faithless Roman. Be careful with your jibes, Captain. Pompey is a needed ally and no mean general. We didn't sail all this way just to offend him with insults. I am who I am. 
I do not change for kings or queens. I left my wife and kids behind for the same reason. No one sane accepts me. I accept you. We accept you. Allah! These hungry Nauta is enough acceptance for me. It's hard to say goodbye to those who don't accept us. But he's also the only way. Is it? Pompey will be at the appointed place, off Terra's coast. Sail on! Need more speed! Up tempo! away from a fight. Any shit, of course not. But I am not keen to die protecting a Roman, especially one who can afford his own protection. You know, you really should join this trial. You'd fit right in. We're not here. Firebombs ready! Call for them when we pull near! Civil war in Egypt and a mercenary trireme comes to my aid. In the midst of war with Caesar, I find it odd. Who in Hades are you? Well, we could have let you die. Pompeius Magnus. Greetings and friendship from Queen Cleopatra. Cleopatra offers gold to win my favor once I've won Rome. <laughs> Is that what friendship means to your queen? Whose face graces that coin? Do Roman women receive the same honor? An alliance with Cleopatra is a union of true power. She wants more than an ally. She seeks a king. Hmm. A valuable friendship indeed. Agreed. My fleet will soon be ready for Egypt.
Welcome to Marad's Wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off, then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me. About the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Huh? Do you have enough to barter with me? Yeah. Your absurd fee. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. A favor. Some customers of mine took my horse after a dispute. Their camp lies in a quarry just south of here. Take my man, retrieve my horse, and I'll give you what you came for. Ah, how you found yourself in Apollodorus' company escapes me. You'll get it for me, if Apollodorus wants my continued service. <laughs> You are friends with Mered? Ah, barely. He's a necessary ally. Mered rarely keeps protectors as allies. He doesn't trust authorities. But he pays well. And very few pay at all here in Giza. Cannot trust this sand in your hand. What can you tell me of the hyena? This Halisat girl. <laughs> we speak one word and we are hyena food. Nice job. This must be Mered's horse. He neglected to tell me his customers were bandits. Oh. You're back! Well, look at this! You failed to mention it was in the possession of bandits. Slipped my mind. Hmm. Good. Stronger than mine. I thought you said it was yours. <laughs> yes, yes, of course it is. You've done good by me, my friend. Then you'll deliver as promised. <laughs> my word is my word. But I've one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica, precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Don't die out there! <laughs> So this is the hyena's lair. No sign of Khaliset, though. Mered was telling the truth. Yeah, I need to figure out where she went. Now why would one of her loyal beasts be caged? Please, get me out! Help! Help me! Khufu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. That is where I will find her. I will help. Hyenas. Khaliset must be inside. You! Who dares to enter here where silence has befallen her? A Magi who has treaded many dunes to find you. Hide if you must, Hyena. But this tomb will not protect you. I demand that you stop here. Turn back now and I will excuse this intrusion. Siwa was an intrusion. Foolish man, I am Iset, possessor of magic. The gods live here, not you. What sort of mischief is she entertaining?
Be gone! Osiris cannot be disturbed! This trap door. What is it protecting? Heathen! The wakeful one is asleep! Go no further, or I will drench what these errands! What is this place? A tomb beneath a tomb. <laughs> is this where you hide, hyena? What gruesome madness happened here? Still warm. And the ceremonial knife. This was a sacrifice. What gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with... Hmm. Alisa drew these symbols here. Was she trying to figure out their meaning? What gruesome madness happened here? A dark place with a window to the gods. What kind of ritual is she performing? Offerings to Osiris, protector of the dead. This sarcophagus is decorated with goddesses of the mother. Strange symbols are marked all over it. I think I know what Dark Deeds Haliset was after here. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. Once she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Alicet must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? Child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the order. Ravage this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. Magic can bring our children back. Must keep my bearings. Face me! 
from this defiler. I have come only for you, hyena. The gods need not be involved. You have infringed upon Ije's place of rest, trespasser. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? The symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. The might will remain in the two of Lyanna! I just want my daughter back! Find your daughter in the afterlife, Hyacinth. May the Lord of the Duat guide you.